all jointly accused of massaging the figures. The case centers on Tesco's accounts. In September 2014, it revealed that it had vastly overstated what it was expecting to make in profits. There was a shortfall of £250 million. The accounting scandal was headline news as Tesco's share price plummeted and billions wiped off the value of the company. The prosecution alleges that the three men were the generals who were in a position of trust, paid huge compensation to safeguard the financial health of the company. Not only did they encourage the misrepresentation of figures, they pressurized others under their control. The three men deny all the charges in a trial that's set to last at least three months. That was Emma Simpson reporting. Patient care is being damaged because of a shortage of nurses. That's according to the Royal College of Nursing. Mary Bolton has been elected as the new leader of the party. The Governor of the Bank of England has given his clearest signal yet that interest rates are set to rise for the first time in 10 years. A judge has ruled that one of the alleged kidnappers of the British model, Chloe Ayling, should be extradited to Italy to face trial. As promised, time for a look at the big business stories of the week. And Vishala Sripathma is here to talk us through them. And um, let's start with the story that we've been covering all day here. Mark Carney hinting that interest rates might go up possibly as early as November. How significant is that? Well, very. A few weeks ago, we heard from the Bank of England they were keeping interest rates as they were. Um, there were a couple of members of the Monetary Policy Committee, which is the group of people that decide on interest rates, that actually voted in favour of raising them. And since then, there have been rumours that a rate hike was on the cards. And we've seen sterling really do well from that. In the last month, sterling uh, has been at its highest against the dollar since 2015. However, speaking to analysts today, Mark Carney's comments today took them by surprise. So, so people are a little bit taken back by those comments. Let's also talk about the building services company, Carillion. Uh, not a great day for them. No. Um, so share price is down about 18%. So not great for them. Um, if you haven't heard of Carillion, they employ about 50,000 people. Uh, globally they take on lots of UK governments they're the company behind HS2 uh, they've had to write, write down some contracts recently they've had to drop several contracts Aberdeen bypass the Midland and Royal London hospitals as well cash flow hasn't been great they had to issue a revenue forecast that wasn't great today and that's why the price uh, the share price dived house prices in London are slowing why is that yes down 0.6 percent on the year which is a bit rare because you don't often see the London house price market um, not be outperforming the rest of the country but it's partly due to uh, the affordability factors we spoke to state agents today that say that they're seeing a slower market because of that factor um, and also say that the London house prices in the centre have been slowing down in the past year and they've been relying on the suburbs of bumping up the prices but that hasn't really been happening in the last couple of months. Well, we're going to be talking about all these stories a bit more with Michael Hewson, who is a senior market analyst at CMC Markets. Michael, so let's talk um, about those comments from Mark Carney. How surprised were investors about those comments? Well, this, I think this stems from the comments that we heard earlier this month about the prospect that we could see an increase in interest rates. And there was a little bit of scepticism about them, I think simply because we've been here before. OK, and we're in. London, we're never far off the topic of house prices and Indeed. some data out today shows that a fall in prices over the last year, 0.6%. Mm. Is this figure going to get worse over the course of the next 12 months or so? I think even if it does, Vishala. It's the FTSE 100 finishing in the green, really bolstered there by that weakness in sterling and also uh, we are looking... Vishala, lovely to talk to you. Thanks yeah, so much. Have a good weekend. A climber from Wales has been killed.